It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Howling Hops and it's a bottle of their Pale XX version number two or number two. It's 5.1% ABV and it's been brewed with Citra Mosaic, Motorica and Nelson Sovin. I do like the label. Quite a smart label on this one. Howling Hops bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Woohoo! Look at the smoke. The beer was kindly sent to me by craftedcrate.com. <coughs> Check out Crafted Crate in the link in the description box where you'll find a link to their website in the video below. Um, visit their website. Uh, they do. It's a beer subscription service. So you get 10 different beers at the end of the month and you're not, you don't know what you're getting really so it's a bit of a surprise which for me is great it's really good three to four finger slightly off white head nice levels of carbonation rolling up the glass there there's a look at the beer get the aroma on this hazy golden colored pale ale it smells lovely absolutely fantastic really hoppy juicy bomb of a beer spicy grapefruity pine needle a little bit of mango Let's dive in. Cheers. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. What an awesome, awesome parallel. Exactly what you want. Oh, and it's a fantastic biscuity malt middle as well just to make it even more of a stone the crows beer so what you're getting first and foremost is this lovely springing carbonation that hits your palate pushes the beer explodes the beer if you like on your on your tongue there's lots of grapefruit ah, there's some lemon peel in there some mango some pine needle Really easy drinking, oh, fantastic stuff, absolutely fantastic. For me, it's just one of them beers. I've, and I'll be honest with you guys, I've, I've had a bit of a bad run recently. Um, I've reviewed some pretty poor beers. And when you reviewed 3,000 something beers as I've had, when you have a little bad run, it can, it can become a little bit tiresome. You can be like, oh, another bad beer. And I, I, I literally had a, a, a session of it yesterday where I was reviewing, uh, won't mention the breweries, but they were just, it was just, oh. I put it on Periscope for people to see and, and you could really see that I was absolutely struggling. So it's really nice kicking off what is the first beer um, of my evening uh, it's a it's a fantastic beer and it quickly quickly gets you back on the horse and it makes you excited about beer again oh. yeah that is fantastic really good mouthfeel lovely carbonation as I mentioned Springy carbonation, zesty, punchy hops, lovely biscuit malts coming through, nice bitterness on the back end. On the on, the, oh, it's 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 really good. Look at that head. The way the head's kind of just stayed there. Five point one percent ABV. I'd be looking to go to the pub and, and have about four halves of this, or maybe even three pints, or maybe four pints. It's 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 fantastic. Let's see what the brewer says. 
Brewed and bottled by Howlin' Hops, Queen's Yard, Hackney Wick, London. They were based in a pub years ago when I first tried their beers. Uh, they, they were brewing out of a pub in London. Uh, and that's basically it. There's not too much else said on regarding the beer. So, yeah, I'm going to rate it. Going to rate it. Love that slight haziness of the beer. So the appearance is absolutely fantastic. The design work on the label is great. Then you get your nose into the aroma. And it drags you in. It's a bit like this. It's, it's, it's dragging you in. And then, and then you're kind of hook, line and sinkered when you try it. Fabulous, fabulous stuff then. Howling Hops, Pale XX. I think it's called Custom Superior. Nine out of 10. It's a nine out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments on the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Check out craftycrate.com and cheers.